Hi everyone, nice to meet you again. Thanks for being there. We are now live from the Hanover MS for the backlog, which, which is our recap of the day. Since it's the first one that we have done uh, at the Hanover MES, our English version, we'll do the backlog for the, the since the beginning of the week. I think we've been here, guys, for three days. So we'll see what was our crush our uh, lightning strike what the uh, give us spark in our eyes so thanks a lot for being there uh salvatore maybe um give us a quick introduction really nice for you to being there so i'll let you pr present yourself quickly thank you nick um yeah very quickly uh salvatore cimino i'm uh, the co-founder and past president of aiot canada which is an organization that uh, assembles uh, the actor in the ai and iot space so and putting the two together we have a greater synergy of uh, what the two uh, technologies can do and uh, so we have act we are active in uh, Quebec Ontario and uh, uh, Alberta great and you actually have a boot there so we will then Jen and I think <laughs> will let me have something to say about exactly that. thanks a lot Salvatore to be here with us for our Thank you. backlog of the day and will Hello, uh, so yeah, my name is uh, William uh, Zubo. I'm a project development manager with NGEN. And if it would not be of uh, Emmanuel, which is right there, and Engine, I don't think I'll be here today, so thanks for them. <laughs> but uh, Engine is our super cluster in yep. Canada, regrouping different clusters, different field of business, and you guys are, are, are here to uh, to make sure that we connect with each each other. So this is how I get to know Salvatore, you, and many, many other people there. Yes. Uh, great. And um, Salvatore, I start with you. We've what? been here three days having, uh, to be honest, I, I won't do my debrief first, of course, but uh, I'm having a blast. I have a, a lot of fun. My, my, my brain is just sparking of uh, idea. So the, the question is, what was your your crush, yeah. the thing that you've seen since three days that Canadians should know about, what would be your recap of the past three days? Although I have to be to say that I've been a little bit uh, stuck to the boot, and but I yeah. I was uh, evading the, the, the cell, the prison that was there <laughs> and uh, several times during the day. And I've been uh, walking like, you know, my legs still hurt. Uh, it's a big place. There's a lot to see. Uh, a lot of it is manufacturing, which is a little bit off my um, focus. Field, yeah, focus, my focus. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of um, you know uh, engines, uh, a lot of uh, machining and uh, robots, uh, mm -hmm. but for the uh, um, mechanical aspect of it, you're talking about crush. And uh, of course, you know, now that you know me a little bit, I can be predict predictable in the in the sense that I'm gonna go out the path <laughs> <laughs> so i go i go outside the path i will follow my you crush I will my follow crush you. is not the product okay my crush has been actually a discussion that i had uh, at the other in all uh, 12 uh okay. there is the other uh canada pavilion and there is the university of windsor that is there and they have uh, yeah windsor, in ontario, ontario. Absolutely. ontario okay great and they have uh, they have this um simulation of a car with the cockpit with the with screens but in reality they can control a car that is in windsor in their lab wow now you should go see it now the the, the part that is actually fun because this is really you know it's it's cool there is a, there is remote it's control, a remote control remote control you know i have one at home with my kids but yeah, it's totally yeah, different yeah, it's totally agree. different there is about two seconds delay yeah so it could be improved but that's not the reason what they do it what they're doing is just it's a gimmick to have people and start the conversation because what they have there in uh, in windsor is the lab to test the powertrain so the, the to test the force that the powertrain the engine oh, wow. goes all the way to the to the pavement right mm -hmm. and uh, and those students they want to be known internationally of for their expertise which is remote testing no no it's the, the actual testing of the of the powertrain of the cars mm -hmm. okay so the remote is just a gimmick okay it's a gimmick oh, oh. 
I fell into it. <laughs> <laughs> but it starts the conversation, and that's the beauty of it. The fact that, you know, there's these students that we have in Canada that mm -hmm. will be the bright spot yep. in, in the future for us, for Canada, and to, to you know, to spark and uh, to, to, to be known across the world. And that, that's to, to start that international connection that, uh, that, should happen and will happen uh, for sure so that's actually my my crush i, I love that part the <laughs> fact that you know young, uh, young i love students. it too i'm just uh i, I just want to run to see them and go see it and it's fun. We, we will we will go with the mic and i'll go and have a chat uh, <laughs> with, with them for sure so let's call that the uh salvatore uh award of the day since Our the past day, three yes. days that's perfect so windsor <laughs> ontario uh thanks a lot for sharing uh and uh, We'll do that tomorrow at the end of the day as well. So I'll invite you to keep your super comfortable shoes just like I have. Walk around and Absolutely. bring us back tomorrow some other insight. Uh, what you have seen during the day it will be a pleasure to speak with you. Definitely. Um, will, on your hand, what have you seen today? Well, <clears throat> the thing that uh, has uh, stood out the most uh, for me personally uh, this week is the footprint of Canada okay. uh, as part of this event. So there's uh, four different boots. In, I uh, was in... quite yeah. amazed to know oh, that yeah. four different pavilions yeah. have Canadian boot. I had the pleasure to do a quick speech, like 10, 15 minutes this morning, and they told me it's going to be in Pavilion 6. I'm like, well, okay, <laughs> I need to go there. <laughs> so the, the, the footprint is really there. Oh, yeah. And would you see that as a ramp up for next year? I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak to that though. <laughs> so the perfect. So um, and walking around, is there any Canadian boots or technology company that yeah. you that really stuck up for you? Yeah, and uh, I've actually uh, seen uh, Connect AI's boot. Uh, they're actually with Google. Okay. And uh, they're a uh, company that. Uh, got their project funded uh, with Engine. Okay. So proud to see see them. Uh, That's neat. Nice. Yeah. That's okay. super neat. So, what would be the one question we should ask them if we go on the Connect uh, booth there? I would ask them for a demonstration of their AI-driven quality control. Uh, system yeah, very impressive so that's neat so this it would be something that canadian manufacturers should have a look at can you give me the name again i'm sure connect uh, ai Con connect ai with a k okay uh, yeah. okay because the uh, website connect ai with a c was uh, already yeah. bought i guess <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course so Thanks a lot, guys, for that uh, debrief of the day. I'll invite the three of us to go walk, uh, like I said, tomorrow. Bring us back some new insight and maybe uh, trying to, um, to, to, to give the, the little taste of what we have here. You, they can have, have the full experience, but you have the chance next year, maybe, give a call to Will, give a call to the people of Engine. They are doing a great job to organize the, uh, the Canadian delegation. So hopefully we'll see you next year in person. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Uh...